Hey yo, what's good, YouTube? Here it's your boy, Crack Man Stevie or Quango Green, bro. Yeah, follow me on TikTok, Quango Green, and on Instagram, Quango Green. Anyway, yo, blah, blah, blah. bro, we get into this new video, bro. Now look, I have found one of the best, absolute best guard builds in the game, bro. This build is unstoppable. Like you're not touching it on on. Bro, it can finish, it can dunk, it can shoot, it, it, can, it even can dribble, and it can play some solid defense, bro. Now, look, I'm telling y'all, this build finna go dummy, bro. If y'all making it, bro, like, you gonna go dummy on the court once y'all max everything else. So, look, we gonna get into this right now, bro. Cue the intro. Like the video right now if you don't want this ugly, dirty, bummy crackhead off the corner to be with your sister. Like the video right now. I would not risk it. Say, man, I look, bro. I was not capping to y'all, bro. I'm, I'm giving y'all the best bills, bro. I only release fire bills, bro. I'm not dropping no garbage, bro. This is facts. Now, look, y'all could pick point guard or shooting guard. It's really up to y'all, but look, go with point guard, bro, because y'all always want to be running point guard. If y'all run this build with a center, like a, a two way slasher with the last video I, I posted on that uh, power forward build, bro, this drone would go dummy. Now, look. The build pot chart, the skill breakdown y'all wanna pick is the one with the most, like, a, not most finishing, but like a little bit more finishing and a little shooting. And then, you know, the playmaking and defense is equal, whatever. Yeah. The physical pot chart, bro, you just wanna pick the fastest one. Or y'all can do the speed and vertical. That's up to y'all, but look, we got 413 upgrades. Y'all probably like, bro, these stats look dookie right now, bro. I got you, bro. This drone's gonna be looking dummy good, bro. You even you even gonna have dribble moves like, and you have like 99 speed, 99 acceleration. If y'all want the 99 vert, y'all don't have to like put that on if y'all want to. But yeah, what y'all want to do is max out y'all close shot, y'all driving layup, driving dunk. So y'all have 16 finishing badges. Put up your shooting, put everything up on shooting besides mid range shot. You can you can lower your mid range shots like a 60, so you have like exactly 20 badges. But I think a 73 is good enough. For y'all, I'm not gonna lie. Then for playmaking, y'all wanna have 14 playmaking badges to push up your post moves just a little bit. And then put the rest on defense. Don't upgrade interior defense, don't upgrade block, don't upgrade offensive rebound. Upgrade perimeter, lateral quickness, and still with defensive rebound, bro. And it's golden. Like this build is unstoppable. You have 16 finishing badges, 20 shooting, 14 playmaking, and five defense. Y'all probably like, well, five defense ain't enough for me, kid. Like, what are you talking about? I'm going to be getting... I heard people going to be running over me on defense, bro. I'm going to be getting smacked on like it's nothing. They're going to be smacking on me like a fish. Nah, bro. Like, it works. Now, for the height on this build, bro, y'all want to go with 6'5 or... Yeah, no, 6'5. So, you have an 81 driving dunk, bro. So, y'all basically have contact dunks at 99. Drop y'all weight all the way down to 175. So y'all basically speeding, bro. Y'all basically are speed boosting off rip, bro. You have a nice dribbling. I mean, you have a nice ball handle, a nice shooting. You got, bro, you have, bro, your dunk is solid. You can push up your, uh, you can push up your driving dunk as much as, you, I mean, you, you can push up your wingspan as much as you want. But if it was up to me, I'd just leave it on a 79.7. But if y'all want to, y'all can just keep it how it was. But... If I was y'all, I would drop it just one so you can have an extra shoot and an extra three-pointer. It just works better because you're only losing one on dunk. But y'all can do whatever y'all want. But to me, I would tell y'all to put on 79.7. It just works the best. I'm telling y'all, it really just works the best with a 79.7 because it makes y'all build 10 times better. I'm telling y'all. Now, listen, bro. Listen, 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 listen. For the takeover on this build, bro. It's a whole bunch of different choices, man. You can run sharp, you can run playmaker, you can run shot creating, and you can run slashing. One way y'all can't run is lock and like the other stuff, but like that's not even all that important. I'm not even gonna cat. Cause these are the main ones, but if I was Jar, either run sharp or slasher. Because playmaking helps and stuff, and shot creating helps. But if y'all want to do like some screen stuff, go with shot creating. But anyway, I'm gonna show y'all another way to set up this build. Cause a lot of y'all are probably like, nah, bro, I want some more playmaking or Nah, I don't really need this many shooting badges. Like, I only really need 16, 17. Yeah, 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 bro. I don't care. Listen, 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 listen. 
if y'all want to like fix it up and tweak y'all stats, bro, y'all can. But I'm going to show y'all a better way to do it. I honestly don't think y'all should do it this way because y'all really not gaining no playmaking badges. you only gaining one from doing it this way. Taking off your uh, post fade and pushing your uh, mid range all the way up because a lot of y'all probably like, oh man, I don't need this. My mid range too low, bro. I'm not going to be able to make nothing. I'm going to be breaking out here, bro. You can make a three pointer with a 61 three ball. I'm pretty sure you can make. A mid-range shot with a 73 or a 74, bro. It's not that hard. Plus, you're going to be having on boost. Plus, you're going to hit Plus you're gonna hit 99. So, basically, you already have like an 85, 84 mid-range with the 73. But since you want to push it up like this, y'all can do it this way. But you only get 17, 17, 15, 5. You don't even get an extra defensive badge. So, this is honestly pointless to run y'all badges like this. I mean, y'all skill set like this. I mean, your yeah, attributes like this. So it's kind of really pointless to do it like this. If I were you, I'd just do it the other way because the other way makes more sense. You get 20 shooting badges, 14 playmaking, and 5 defense with 16 finishing badges. So this way is just way too perfect for y'all. Like, I don't understand why you would want to run it another way on this build. Like, it just makes it just makes too much sense for me. I don't know. A lot of y'all have your own opinions, whatever. But... I just feel like this is this way to make this build is way better. So, yeah, just run y'all stuff like this. Uh, me, I go built all the time for body shape. Y'all can go, like, barely or whatever if y'all want to. I don't really know. Height, 6'5", clearly lowest weight, and a 79.7 wingspan, bro. That's what y'all want to be running on this build. And like I said, bro, y'all can do max. Y'all can do a uh, max wingspan if y'all want to, if y'all want to get that extra driving dunk or whatever, but... That's up to y'all, completely up to y'all. I would do 79.7. Y'all could pick whatever ticket over y'all want, and y'all get a floor spacing slasher similar to LaMelo Ball, Steph Curry, and DeJounte Murray. I don't know, really know how this build is comparing to Steph Curry, but okay. Anyway, bro, I'm, I'm going to show y'all the badges on this build, bro. The build goes dummy. If you're not, if you're not telling me the build doesn't go dummy already, bro, you're literally losing your mind right now. I don't know what you're talking about. But look. I'm going to show y'all the defensive badges first because for, for we only got five. And what honestly can you do with just five badges? Like, all you can really put on is Intimidator and Clamps. Like, a lot of y'all probably like, oh, you, you don't need Intimidator, bro. That badge or not. Nah, that's what y'all want to do. Now, for the 14 playmaking badges, bro, you want to put on Gold Quick First Step, Gold Hands for Days, a Gold Ankle Breaker, and a Gold Dimer with Unpluggable and Silver, bro. It just makes the most sense. Y'all can run floor general or space creator or tight handles, whatever y'all want to, bruh. But I just feel like this way to make the build, it just makes the most sense to me. Because if y'all put on floor general instead of ankle breaker, you're kind of just wasting badge points because all you're doing is pushing. You are pushing it. You are helping your teammates, but you're not able to see the percentages and stuff like that. So it's kind of uh, kind of just pointless. So look. Anyway, you got 16 finishing badges. Y'all can go up to all the theme, but look, y'all want to set y'all finishing badges up like this. Everyone knows this, bro. If you haven't known by now, bro, everyone should know that this is how y'all set up y'all finishing badges. All y'all really want to do is put on a Hall of Fame contact finisher, a Hall of Fame slithery finisher. Well, those are my main two badges. What am I talking about? A Hall of Fame contact finisher, a Hall of Fame. Slithery, slithery finisher, bro. I can't even say that word, bro. I'm retarded. Those are the main two badges. Y'all, that's all y'all really need. All y'all really need is eight finishing badges for any build. It doesn't really matter. Two Hall of Fame badges, and y'all be dunking and dunking on literally anyone. And then y'all probably want fancy footwork on Hall of Fame, just in case y'all want to, like, y'all do hop steps to the paint, whatever. Y'all can put the uh, the rest of y'all badges on lobsy finisher, consistent finisher, or acrobat. It's up to y'all. But if I was, if it was up to me, I'd just put on a gold acrobat. And a bronze consistent finisher. It just makes the most sense to me. So y'all have 20 shooting badges, bruh. Still left, bruh. Y'all can go dummy on these badges real quick. Like, you can put on Hazel Hunter, Range Extender. Those are the main two badges you really need. You don't really need nothing else. But since we can put on more, I'm going to just throw uh, Green Machine on, Dead Eye on, Difficult Shots on, Catch and Shoot, and Volume Shooter. This badge spread is just goaded, bruh. Like, you can't tell me it's not goaded, bruh. You can hit. You can hit. Off dribble fades, catch and shoot, green machine. You can hit dead eye shots. Now, a lot of y'all probably like, well, why don't you put on 
steady shooter. That's good too, bro. We don't need that badge. Come on. A lot of YouTubers be like, oh, that badge is golden, bro. No, don't put that on, bro. I'm sorry, but every time I use it, it was not that good for me. But yeah, if y'all haven't already, bro, like the video. Like the video, bro. Subscribe, bro. Follow me. Follow me on Twitch. I mean, what am I saying, Twitch, bro? Follow me on everything, bro. Anyway, I'm out. Peace.